Okay, um, this video is just an update on what's going on on my PC. Well, first of all, that's an OCC Vedetta uh, CPU cooler. That's actually mine from uh, last year when I had the uh, Phenon X4 9850, uh, which I sold that to my modeling lot, and then uh, the cooler go along with it. But then since she doesn't overclock or do any tweakings, so I offer her a tray. She can have the stock cooler, which it will be totally fine with the 9850, and I get this. But there was one downside, which is the fin. That is not the fin that originally came with it. That's a Cooler Master 19mm uh, fin from another cooler, and the original fin from this cooler here. The reason I'm taking it off is because she never does any maintenance and then see how it doesn't really turn and the dust builds out and then it just won't turn much anymore so it's no good so I cut off the end modified onto that fan there and it works great it pulled out really high RPMs and that's a uh, 8 millimeter fan on top of the cooler it doesn't really do much although it does draw some air upward but it doesn't really do much, I just put a look, I called it a halo. Look at that. Oh well, that just for fun. It doesn't make much effect, it's all matters well, who cares. <coughs> Over there we have the uh, Corsair <coughs> uh, Dominator 1066 DDR2 memory. Uh, it's running at 1066, and the timing are 5 to 5 to 5 to 15. At 2.1 volt, it's running very, very well. And there we have the HD4770 graphics card. It's running very, very well as well. And then there's the indicator and everything else. Another lighting device. That thing there is the controller for the lighting devices. It's from the PRS uh, set out I had. Over there we have the 80 gig Western Digital ID hard drive for backups. And this here is a 200 gigabyte. <coughs> hard drive uh, inside a stander that's my main drive for everything else and then that is the uh, IDE DVD burner and the floppy drive is there just in case if I ever need any uh, files update or recovery or anything like that it will still be useful I still got a cable for it so that's basically that and it's still an OC to 600 watt power supply well couldn't afford a case, so poor Fina have to live in a shitty case for a while. I'm sorry. I promise I'll find you a nice home in the near future. But for now you have to make do. Daddy don't have much money. One thing about this fan is it can pull out really good airflow. Right now I have it running really low at uh, uh, 26%. Uh, Psycho, and then the CPU is overclocked to uh, 3.6 gigahertz at 1.4 volt, and then it's doing a 40 degrees Celsius stock right now, and the uh, CPU fan is running at 1350 RPM. But then uh, check this out. Let me have it up to 50 percent fan speed. going up to 2012 uh, 500 RPMs but if I have it up to a higher cycle it's starting to speed up if I have it running at 100 percent it becomes a beast Oh, that thing vibrates a little bit. But anyway, it becomes a uh, airflow beast, and then it's able to have the temperature down to around 36 to 37 degrees Celsius on idle. That's a four to five degrees difference between uh, lower fan speed and higher fan speed. Well, the Vedeta works good. 
I was able to overclock to 4 GHz, which I will show you a uh, screenshot uh, in a little bit. So uh, today I'm going to run a few tests, 3D mark, etc., uh, some overclocking projects, and then just to show you how great the uh, Phenon 2 is. So the Phenom 2 is very impressive compared to the uh, Phenom 1's. They're able to achieve very high um, overclocking clock speed and also um, provides a real good um, uh, CPU performance. And uh, that Vedetta is not a very expensive CPU cooler at all. And in fact it's actually quite old since I had it for a while. And uh, that cooler plus a um, a little bit of uh, Arctic Silver 5 that I had left over and it's able to achieve 4 GHz and able to run a Super Pi uh, before it crash and uh, I was able to run it at 3.7 to 3.8 GHz stable and uh, all those 3D Mark scores was bench uh, while the CPU is at 3.7 GHz on the other hand that uh, 4770 uh, graphics card performs very very well uh, had a clock to 900 megahertz on the clock speed and the 900 megahertz on the memory speed. Well, thanks for watching, and there is more to come.